at the Tarantula Girl coming to you from my private Serpentarium tonight to show you a beautiful animal, Fire Lord Zuko, one of my new bearded dragons. Let's take a look. Now what do you think? I knew you guys were going to be asking questions about him. So I decided to do an entire video just on him because he was way too awesome just to mention in a fleeting comment. This little guy is Fire Lord Zuko from the Avatar Last Airbender series. You've got the little nerd coming out in me there. And so you might notice right off the bat that he is definitely not your typical bearded dragon. He is actually a blood red hypotranslucent leatherback bearded dragon. Now to tell you a little bit about what that is, the blood red is a line bred polygenic color, which is where they get a red animal and a red animal and make a super red animal that is called the blood red. And he's actually about twice this bright, but they go through shed cycles where they get duller and brighter. And unfortunately he's in his dull mode, but he still is so incredible and beautiful. You can see the hypo and the, the lack of pigmentation in his nails. You can see the translucence from his large black eyes and his see-through belly, which I will show you in a minute. The leatherback gene is actually a co-dominant gene that reduces the scalation, which makes it smooth and not scaleless, but closer to scaleless. To your typical bearded dragon. And then a bearded dragon is an Australian reptile with the scientific name Pagona viticeps, which I have several videos on. And this dude is just very particularly handsome. He is about two and a half months old at this point. I got him as a tiny little hatchling. This animal is actually co-owned by Jay Spider, who is in quite a few breeding projects with me. And one thing I like about him, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see at this age, are his little white spikes, which I think are going to look super duper amazing when he grows up. And those are very large white spikes. We can see his black, black eyes. And he's got some blood vessels in here. You can see where his eyes are under his skin there. And obviously, you can actually see right through his belly. So that is his blood flow and his organs in there, which are kind of a bluey purple. And he's just a super cool, super handsome dude. This guy is going into my breeding project. Of course, he has some growing up to do. And maybe I'll even do a follow-up video on him when he is bright and orange in his regular state of glory. Let me know what your favorite bearded dragon morph is and whether or not you'd like to see this guy again. I hope you guys liked meeting this beautiful blood red boy and I can't wait to show you a more as he grows up and hopefully eventually as we're seeing his offspring Tell me what you thought of his beautiful orange scalation and whether you want to see more videos of him as he grows up. This is the DTG signing off with my beautiful baby boy. See you guys again soon.